In this video, I want to introduce you to the Product Moment Correlation Coefficient, often abbreviated to PMCC. Um, and it gives you a value uh, which we refer to as the value R. And R is a value between minus 1 and 1. And it is on this sliding scale, and it identifies whether you have negative correlation or no correlation or positive correlation. And the closer it is to the ends of this scale, then the stronger the correlation. So, um, when we talk about uh, no correlation, then we are really looking at values traditionally between minus 0.1 and 0.1. Okay, so between these two values, we would refer to that as no correlation. Or, you know, if we would say, you know, you, you could say zero is no correlation and then 0.001 is very, very weak positive correlation, but, um, you know, is, is in how you interpret this in the grand scheme of things, if you had 0.001, you'd pretty much say there's no correlation, okay? Uh, even though it's just on the side of a positive value. Now, if you are above 0.1, uh, up to 1, then we refer to this as positive correlation. Okay, so between those values. And if it's between 0.1 and 0.5, we would say that that is weak positive correlation. Uh, if it's between 0.5 and 0.8, then moderately strong, so moderate positive correlation. And if it's between 0.8 and 1, then we refer to that as strong positive correlation. Uh, if it is exactly 1, if it's exactly 1, then we refer to that as perfect positive correlation. And likewise, in the negative direction, if it's between minus 0.1 and minus 0.5, then we would be saying that that is weak negative correlation. Correlation. OK. If it's between minus 0.5 and minus 0.8, we would be saying that's moderately strong negative correlation. If it's between minus 1 and minus 0.8, then that's strong negative correlation. And if it's exactly at minus, 0, sorry, minus 1, then it would be perfect negative correlation. OK, so this is essentially your sliding scale and how you can interpret uh, a correlation value, a correlation coefficient. So if you've got something like 0.67, then uh, that would be a moderately strong positive correlation. Um, if you've got minus uh, 0.9, then that is a strong negative correlation. OK, so when we describe correlation, we want to include some kind of strength with it. Um, just so we can understand like how close to minus 1 or 1 it actually is.